Hi, I'm Tom Balanoff. I'm the president of the SEIU Illinois State Council. We have 180,000 members here in the state, including our brothers and sisters here in this plant. We're here today to say we're going to stand with our brothers and sisters here for whatever it takes. But we're also here to say that this is not just an isolated situation. This is playing out to workers all over the country. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds or millions. We need to have a recovery. It's going to be a recovery for working families. That's the only way we can return our country to, to the kind of strength that it needs. We need to return the American dream to working people who've done nothing wrong other than come to work every day and work hard. I work in this company for 41 years. Wow. So my whole life, I was a young, 20 years old, and uh, my whole life is here. So now I'm close to the retirement. I don't want the company to close. In the meantime, I don't want all the another uh, co-worker they're going to lose the job. Right. So we wish the Mr. President for the help us, give us more orders, and uh, everybody got a job. Right. Now at my age, it's very hard to go outside and go to find a job. I'm past 60, you know. We try to keep our job. We're working on it. You know, I'm the one who's paying the mortgage for the West Fargo. They, they want to take my job away, you know, they take, they take my house too, my first. We make this suit for the, for the, the president, you know, it's, it's good, that's why it's going to be good. We want the, the job to keep going. And I'm a single mother, I have three kids, and it's going to be tough for me if we lose the job. Yeah. So give me another chance. Our jobs are worth fighting for, and our families are worth fighting for, and that's what we're here to do today. Sisters and brothers, you come to work every day and you make the kind of suits that are the best in the world. I mean, if you have the money, why not help us? The bank that's sitting on the money ought to release it. Give us a break. We deserve a second chance. Where is the American dream? Our dream just went out the window. I, I have no idea what's really going to happen, but right by now we're all praying that the banks decide to let us stay in business, to let us keep our jobs. It's great to be here with you this morning. It's my pleasure to be the manager of the Chicago and Midwest Regional Joint Board, representing over 40,000 members in the Upper Midwest. But let me tell you, today, you are the focus of our union. You are at the center of the activities of our union. Because Wells Fargo took $25 billion of your money, and we thought that they would play by the rules. They, in fact, wouldn't even extend a line of credit to this great corporation. They said that they were going to liquidate, possibly, the company because they could make more money. If they do that, I will promise you, I will be their worst nightmare on the floor of the House of Representatives. I have spoken to Wells Fargo as early as this morning. There are bidders out there who are willing and actually enthusiastic uh, about keeping this company going. I actually spoke to one of the bidders uh, this morning as well. And I can tell you that they are excited they believe in this company, they believe in what this plan can achieve, they believe in the importance of all of you. So, we're going to do what you do every single day. We are going to fight, we are going to show up, and we are going to make sure that we do the right thing because all of you have been doing the right thing for a very, very long time. Labor movement is about struggle. The labor movement is about fighting. And we want to acknowledge again some folks who were with us last Thursday and who are the inspiration of a great deal of our activity to save our jobs here in Des Plaines and other cities as well. And that's the heroes of the Republic window sit-down strike here in Chicago who fought and showed the way a number of months ago as to how workers respond in this economy. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, friends, I want to ask you one question. Are you ready to fight for your families and your jobs? I can't hear you. Are you ready to fight? And this is an unusual situation. 
because we don't have a company that ought to be in bankruptcy. We have a recession in America, and the banks help make that recession. And now they want to profit from it. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, this company has been in business for 120 years and more. I've been here 31. I have, we have some that has been here 40 and 50 years. We want to be here another 120 years or more. And we passed.